Dark Life Chris, anyone comic book reading, back at it again with another comic book read. You see how this, this is not man size? Whatever. So, we're jumping into this because I saw issue number 19 and I was like, whoa, this looks like so, it's going to change the game. It's going to change the way I think about the Batman and the Superman continuum so i'm like all right let's let's bust out number 18 and give it a read and see if it's climaxing up to what's happening on 19 what is happening on 19 i don't know but that imagery looking good I, and i was like whoa this is something else so here we go anyone comic book reading superman batman issue number 18 Oh no, can you see some spoilers there? There's some spoilers there. I forgot what that creature's name was. Earth Zero, the thermosphere inside the structure known as the Archive of the World. What? Nothing. By trespassing into the great mysterious Archive of the World, Batman and Superman have provoked the ire of the Archive, the keeper of the greatest mysteries. Otero 10. Otero.10? Or is it 10? Or is it IO? I don't know. Superman tries to resist the deadly radiation of the Otero 10's kryptonite ring, but it's too much for him. As for Batman, he's worth. He's worse than than useless. Otero 10 even turns his own weapons against him. My helmet! Ah! With the last breath, Superman and Bat Superman utters his final words. I'm many things, Otero, but useless is not one of them. That's not your cue, you imbecile. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't say what he uttered. That was Batman. I vaguely remember that because I was so distraught about what's happening. Oh, look, Robin's introduced into here. I guess he was always in it, but now it, it literally says Superman, Batman, and Robin. And, and, and. Oracle, can you hear me? I'm, I'm losing oxygen. Go further into the archive, Batman. You'll find a more you'll find a more hospitable atmosphere. Superman, are you, are you? I'm all right now. Wait, Clark Kent, he's like, I'm all right now. That, I'm away from Artero, Arter, all. I don't know how to say his name. Artero 10's kryptonite ring. Thank you, Batman. Hey, while we're chatting, I just finished the research you requested. Thank you, Oracle. There isn't a single reference to the Artero 10 in any of the Justice League database. I did, however, find this. Artero 10 is the name of a software system, an algorithm uh, approximately, approx an algorithmic approximation of human creativity developed by an old subsidiary of LexCorp. Uh, they just released the beta version a few months ago. So far, it's handful of clients are all from the entertainment sector. Film studios? They don't call you the world's greatest detective in the world for nothing. Wait, wait, so she's saying we're fighting a computer code? No, no, we saw him bleed. Our tarot 10 isn't just another code. But, but then, you two think you can hide from me? In my own archive, huh? Master, the system item you requested. Much obliged, archivist. What did he do? I'm sure our heroes will recognize that this particular prop, it's one of the science fiction worlds, it's one of the science fiction worlds in my archive, and strangely adventurous as they come. A phantom crystal? 
A phantom zone crystal? How did he... What the... Meanwhile, the world of the... Mm, the world of the Knights, Batman and Robin accompany their new allies, Ace Reporter Lois Lane and the Extraordinary Man of Steel, back to their home reality, the world of tomorrow. As soon as our feet hit the ground, the man who can fly recovers his strength and calls himself Superman, are you, are you okay? I'm all right now that I'm away from that kryptonite ring and Dr. Away from Dr. Adam's kryptonite bracelet. Thank you, Batman. Wait, what? Is this two different Batmans then? Sounds like we're talking about two different Batmans and, and Supermans. Kryptonite. That's the name of the green crystal. The only thing we've encountered that can weaken Superman. Noted. What? Where are we? The boy wonder says. All right, this is like another dimension, another verse of Batman and Robin. As you can see here, you know, the S in the plain costume. And then here we have the Batman who's more like the future techoid type. Techie techie. So whatever wherever this dimension is not earth one what did it say the world of nights batman i wonder if that's like no earth two or we're back in our world the one that superman and i came from yeah but we're in your world but where in your world lois lane i'm surprised robin doesn't recognize the stalagmites Stalagmite goes on the sky. Stalactite is on the bottom. Uh, underneath the mansion of the insanely wealthy family. This is where the Batcave is supposed to be. How much has passed since we left? You, would you guess? Hard to say, Lois. I'm sure how I'm not sure how time works when we're going back and forth between. Intruder alert, intruder alert, Wayne security androids. They look like miniature versions of the unknown wizard robot. Maybe the wizard was right about Martha Wayne stealing his idea. Intruder alert, uh, see Batman issue 16, two issues ago. What did you say about Martha? Get down. Remember, both Batman and Superman's moms are named Martha story is kind of uh, elsewhere on the Wayne estates intrepid cub reporter Jimmy Olsen stumbles into an underground labyrinth of caves geez that Bruce Wayne fella can talk now where did Miss Lane and Clark Kent run off to Jimmy Olsen is that you who I never thought I'd be so happy to see you snooping face Dr. Luther listen Jimmy I deduce that Martha Wayne doesn't steal her inventions from me. The truth is much more nefarious. Wayne is part of the cross-dimensional trading scheme. She gets her technology from a mastermind in another reality known as Dr. Adam. And in exchange, she sends him prisoners like me to be used as human guinea pigs. This, this is a little bit hard to swallow. Just get me free, boy. Get me out of here before they... Mr. Olsen, sneaking about where he doesn't belong. Who the heck is that? Oh, that's Bane, because he clicks the button. Poor form for a... Poor form, form for a guest. This is a weird reality where Bane is protecting the Wayne family. All right, we're going back to Batman and Robin fighting these droid things. Holy blank, Superman. Sure packs a wallop. If by wallop you mean unnecessary noise, brute fo unnecessarily noisy brute force, then I concur. You have a better idea than Batman? Always. Robin, these droids are ducks. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, Batman. Let's get them all in a row. Not a bad idea at all, fellas. Superman, 
aim your optical lasers here. Whoa, cool. You mean my heat vision like this? Exactly like that. Nice work, partner. Um, not to be rude, but Batman's already got a partner. Uh, get away from me, Superman. I hear him, Lois. Jimmy Olsen's in trouble. They're not going, we're not going with them. Not yet. Look, look over there. Wait, wait a minute. Is that the staircase to our staircase? Is, is this staircase our staircase? It shouldn't have taken so long. It shouldn't have taken you so long, Robin. I'll ask Alfred to double down your forensics homeworks. Oh man. As I suspected, Wayne Manor, my home, the furniture, the wallpaper, the paintings on the wall, it's all how it used to be before that, before that night. I forgot what night they're referring to, the night they were sucked into another, another place. Is that Martha with a gun? The story is all kinds of weird. Don't move, mother, mother, it's a giant bat monster. Is, oh, is that a giant bat monster? I don't know, Brucey. Just, just stay behind me. Mother? Mother, no, bruh. Bruce Wayne is killed by Martha Wayne. Hey. Who would have thought we'd see the day he didn't die? She just shot him. He's got a bulletproof rat suit on. Down in the caverns below, Jimmy Olsen runs for his life. <sighs> You saw things you weren't meant to see, young Olsen. Get away from me, you... Uh, regrettably, I'll have to crack your skull open as punishment. Oh, no, please. Put him down, Pennyworth. Wait, Pennyworth? So that's Alfred in a Bane suit? In a Bane apparatus? I mean, you can see here he has the hose. And a few pages ago, he... <laughs> pushed the button. Superman, Miss Lane, I thought you'd run off to another dimension. We did. Now we're back. Batman, Robin, head in the game, Robin. Mother, is that thing still moving? Stay still, you little cretin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Superman, this high, frequ this high frequency transmitter should get your attention. I've lost a lot of blood. I need you to get down here now. Robin throws his Robin blades. Robin, don't hurt her. Oh, that was Batman. Ah, holy, that guy looks exactly like, so does this mean that she's a, Robin, you hear that? Outside the window, we've got to go. Brucey, don't let them get away. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try, m mother. And someone's shooting. Oh, that's Bruce shooting the gun and they crash out of the window. Hang on, fellas. Hmm, how? How did this happen? Oh, it's Superman. He's carrying the car. I was wondering how, too. I was like, wait, it's a rocket ship car that Jimmy Olsen's driving? Oh, not Olsen, but the babe, Lois Lane. The babe. You're. So, you're Batman's sidekick, huh? Partner. Yeah, that's right, partner. Sort of like how I'm Superman's partner. He ever make you do homework? No, why would he? <laughs> Lucky. Ooh, Superman heat rays the wound. <laughs> I guess it wasn't bulletproof. An extra shirt, an entire first aid kit, and everything you don't have in that little utility belt? Oh, anything you don't have in that little utility belt? A cauterizing iron? Thank you, Superman. Oh, he didn't have that. Happy to help, Batman. It's so peaceful here. So different from the metropolis that I know. Batman, if what Lex Luthor told Jimmy is true, then the beauty of my world and the horror of your world are linked. Cutting edge technology for criminals. Quite a trade. You believe him? Jimmy doesn't lie. Not Jimmy. Not Jimmy, Luther. You can ask Luther yourself. Right before this psychopath Penny showed up, Pennyworth showed up, I snuck Dr. Luther, Luther my portaphone. 
clever thinking, Jimmy. I try, Superman. Dr. Lewis, Lois Lane, Daily Planet. Finally, I've called every one of my supposed assistants, and none of them has the courage to assist me. But you, Miss Lane, save me, and I'll give you center. I'll give you the story of the century. You must hurry before Martha Wayne sends me to another dimension. Superman can have us back at the Wayne Estates in a few minutes. No, no, I overheard Wayne talking to that spineless son of hers. Can't see. After Superman's antics, Martha Wayne believes that the burn hole beneath her home is compromised. Tonight, she's taking me to the second burn hole. At the Gotham Cemetery. Should have had a howl right there. I think you'll find our latest captives of particular interest, Dr. Adam. He calls himself the Unknown Wizard, but his real name is Lex Luthor. Let go of me! Sorry, Luthor. Mother's, mother's orders. You're quite right, Dr. Wayne. The experiments I'll be able to do with him will be quite valuable indeed. Escort him back to Arkham Asylum at once. No, no, I beg of you, stop. In return, here is a serum I promised Dr. Wayne. It endows its user with a strength equivalent to Superman. You've outdone yourself, Dr. Adam. Mother, mother, someone's trying to break in. This is insane. This story is actually getting good. Superman said that... Superman said that reality is more permeable where things are missing. Wayne family crypt of this world is missing my mother's coffin. That's exactly where we find the burn hole. And her. Superman? Where's Luther? You must be Dr. Adam. Wait, he's... I'm Superman. You must be Dr. Adam. My reputation precedes me. Mother, is a giant bat thing again. God, I hate bats. We have to get out of here. Bruce, since your father's death, I've tried so hard to make the world a better place because I don't want the monsters to hurt you ever again. But lately I've wondered if perhaps the best way to protect you from monsters is to turn you into one. Ouch, he says. Mother, what did you do? What did you... What did you not... What you not do to me? He's turning into Solomon Grundy? Shut up. This story is wackadoo. Mommy tickled me in my needle. Now my skin gets soft. Me grow weak. <laughs> uh, holy crap. Bruce. Bruce Wayne got monster fight and now he's stronger than even Superman. No, Superman's being weakened by Dr. Adam's kryptonite amulet. We need to get Dr. Adam as far away as possible and quick. You understand? Yep. What are you, what are you doing? You'll see. Ouch, even with your fancy helmet, that's gotta hurt. Hey, Dr. Adam, mind if I borrow your kryptonite jewel? Help yourself, boy. Help yourself, boy, wonder. I was going, I was only gonna do terribly bad stuff with it. Anyways, gee, pal. Oh, gee, your pal, Dr. Adam. That was all just him jokingly saying, answering and asking the same question, whatever, yeah. Me, no beat Superman's face to pieces. Your, your wallet would be appropriate in this situation, Superman. Wallop! Pff, ha! Ha! Pow! He destroyed that fool in one punch. The scheme you're running with Dr. Adam... Oh, this is Batman. The scheme you're running with Dr. Adam, turning one world into heaven and another into hell is pure evil. You're only alive because I didn't aim carefully enough the last time, you monster. I won't make that mistake again. It's over. All I want is my son to be safe and the my world to be safe. Yes, but at what cost? You, your, my God, what have I done? He revealed his face. 
And his mother knows she's a witch with a B. You're just a bad person. Robin, is Dr. Adam still conscious? But he'll have a heck of a headache tomorrow morning. Luther, the unknown wizard. Warden Luther, fools. I'm not Lex Luther from either of your worlds. What? My home world was obliterated long ago when I escaped its apocalypse. I got a glimpse of the reality behind all realities. Each of your worlds is part of a collective of archives of worlds overseen by a maniacal god named Artero Ten. Artero Ten is obsessed with creating utopia. Once a world in his archive proves incapable of perfection, he destroys it. Do you now understand the purpose of my arrangement with Martha Wayne? By proving this world criminal, this world's criminal element, and then introducing advanced technology, I am perfecting it. I'm going to save it from Arteros Ten's wrath. Now release me before you doom us all. I call him nuts, except I'm from another reality, too. Yeah, okay. Do 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 do. What's happening? What's gonna happen? Superman, what's going on? Strange to see Jim Gordon here. He moves differently than the Jim Gordon I know. Less reserved, less cautious. Like he hasn't spent an entire career guarding against whatever might leap out from the shadows. Commissioner Gordon, you are sight for sore eyes. Have we met yet, son? He's not our Gordon, Robin. Oh, right. Commissioner, this is Batman and Robin. They're partners of mine, visiting Gotham. Oh, visiting Gotham? Something like that. He said partners, both of us. We've just stopped <laughs> we've just stopped a gang of criminals, including Martha Wayne and her son Bruce. Martha Wayne? You're joking. I'm afraid. It's true, Commissioner. Mother, the serum you injected into me wore off wore off of Wore off half of me. You and into me wore off of half of me. Oh, but not the other half. It's like I have two faces now. One human and one not bizarre. Me, forgive you, mother. Me, not going to kill you for what you did to me. It was a two-face. I thought it was going to be Solomon Grundy, but he turned him into two. She turned him into two-face. Now two-face. Two-face is now Bruce Wayne in this timeline. What? Get out of my way, Dr. Adam. He's making a run for it. He's headed for the burn hole. I'll show you the truth. Stop. I'll show you. Through the burn hole he went. The reality behind all realities. The Phantom Zone Crystal. Dog like Chris, anyone comic book reading? That was Batman and Superman, issue number 18. Next, worlds converge, heroes unite. Trig homework is not avoided. Issue number 19. Supposedly, it's going to be really good of what I saw. That's actually a better, better thing than I was expecting it to be not so great. Topsy Turvy, Batman and Superman. Here we go. Issue 1 through 18, now acquired. Doot, doot. Have a good weekend. Sorry I missed yesterday. I was cooking. I was doing the stuff. You know, lawn.